you old amorotic pinhead act like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already let me help you fill that gap in memory living in the waste was unto your taste but soon you will gaze too straight in the face all rivers run eventually to the sea at the stage it's evident there will be no happy end suck it up princess no one cares for your tears it's over and i've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with looking for loopholes and wondering what if Bardzo serdecznie. Remorse would be entirely misplaced here. After all, he grew up to be a very passable guy indeed. I'm sure he's a great whistler, and I like what he's done with his hair. One step closer and I'll blow your turn up out. But Glandy, it's me, Professor Rufus. Doesn't that ring a bell? Professor Rufus? Yeah, that's it. He was the guy who used to thank for all of this. Just junk crabs and mites for years on end. <laughs> what about him? I, uh, I killed him. Well done. Now get out of my yard. All right, all right. Are you lost, stranger? No, I have a photographic sense of direction and always know exactly where I am. It's just the when has been a little confusing lately. When doesn't mean a thing round here. You're in interim time, a space alongside the past. Present and future, I know. I was gonna say perishable food. We don't have anything like a future here. Rumor has it there used to be one. The portal building authorities are digging around looking for it in the foundations of interim time. But if you ask me, it's just newfangled nonsense. No future? Two other newcomers passed by here earlier. They asked about the future too. Friends of yours, perhaps? Impossible. They were just with me. <laughs> Maybe out there. Here in interim time, the clocks tick a little different. <laughs> I see they have a few more hands, too. Well, welcome to Paradox City. My name's Rocco McChronicle. If you've got any questions, I'll be happy to help you, uh, um... Rufus. And actually, I do have a couple. Rocco Mc... What the hell did you say? Are you Rocco McChronicle, the father of Dean Angus McChronicle Sr., and therefore our McChronicle's grandfather? You must have confused me with someone else. I don't have a son, and if I did, I'm sure he wouldn't have become a Dean. After all, I'm running a family business here. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it. The last thing I need now is to accidentally prevent McChronicle's birth. You've seen my friends? A sexy chick accompanied by a clever, handsome guy? Uh, not really. We were separated. Well, two strangers certainly passed by earlier on. They met the old hermit. It looked as though they knew each other. They headed off to her farm. Turn left at the town hall, and then continue up that way. Where are my friends again? At the old hermit's farm. Turn left at the town hall, and then continue up that way. Where the hell am I? You're in Paradox City, the city between times. Aren't we always between times? Um, excuse me? You know, present and future. Yes, I suppose, but although here we're not so much between the future, that doesn't exist here. What does that mean, you have no future? That's what I said. If that's what you're interested in, then ask the people at the portal building authorities. They're always talking about the future, and they're trying to dig one up from the junk beneath the city. Absolute madmen, if you ask me. We've never had a future here, and we've managed quite happily without it so far, thank you very much. 
I urgently need to get to Kuvak. Eh, doesn't ring any bells. Is it beyond interim time? Of course. Then you'd better be off asking the guys from the portal building authorities. They map the portals and know where each one leads. Hey, that's the time part. That there, that's been there since before I arrived. My father was going to repair it. That's why he founded the garage. Apparently it stopped being so important at some point. Like everything here. Ah, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. You can't... <laughs> nope. People these days just don't trust one another anymore. You can't. Ugh. Nope. People these days just don't trust one another anymore. Oh, there you are. Howdy, Rufus. You wouldn't believe who I met in the city. My granddad. I know. He didn't recognize me. No wonder. To him, you're not even born yet. I guess I never will be. Even the slightest interventions change the timeline. In all probability, we prevented the birth of my father already. Hogwash. I've seen everything possible and impossible in the last while, but nothing even remotely resembling a timeline. The whole thing is more like a fuzzy, knotted time scheme than anything else. It's okay, Rufus. I'm doing just fine. Ah, isn't it incredibly interesting here? Yeah, very picturesque. But we have to get a move on. Don't you remember? Where's gold? In the farmhouse. But there's no reason to hurry. Here in interim time... The clocks run differently, I already know. Still, no reason to take our foot off the gas. One of these portals must lead to Kuvak. We used it earlier ourselves. Yeah, it's that one there. That one? <laughs> I actually expected a few mind-bending puzzles first, but so much the better. Wait here. I'll go get gold, and then we can go get our future back. I'll get gold, and you do my chronicle stuff. Brace yourself for a surprise in there. The country air seems to be good for him. His cheeks have gone all rosy. Whoa, Butterfingers at work. Hey, Cole, no time for coffee, time to move. We... Wait a second, am I counting right? Your goal, I mean, your goal too. And you are almost as perceptive as when I left you, Rufus, savior of the world, suicidal time traveler. <laughs> you forgot butt model. But how can that be? What are you doing here? Which goal are you? She's the goal that you rescued from the future. Yeah, and in return, she left me and Mac on Elysium, stole the time machine, and whoosh! That was the thanks we got. I've not got such a talent for dramatic endings as you. <laughs> and you didn't get far either. Yes. Perhaps I was a bit too quick off the mark there. When I arrived in interim time, there was no future anymore. The tunnel had simply come to an end, and the autopilot was steering me directly at it. I had to crash land and was stranded. For us, only a few hours have passed. For her, it's been a lifetime. Why didn't you use one of the portals? The portals only opened much later. At first, they were all out of reach. Then the Deponians started to throw their trash into interim time. The time travelers also started arriving from all sorts of pasts. Most were stranded here like me. We built Paradox City from the trash. We tried to reach the portals, but none of them led to the right time. Then, when the first children were born, we realized that we had built ourselves a new home. But now I'm here. So come on, we... What was that? An earthquake? We've only had one of those once before. 
The time when the portals opened. Yeah, never a dull moment around here. Don't run off. I'm gonna go have a look. Oh, come on. Where's the portal to Kuvak? And the others, all gone. I think I have an explanation. When the tachyons poured into the open portal unchecked just now in the lab, we didn't only open the one portal, but also all the surrounding ones too. Portals leaving to completely different places and times. As time passes much faster in here, they were open for years. The whole city was built whilst you fetched gold from the university. Shortly after you stepped through the portal, the anomaly closed behind you. In the lab, this was a blink of the eye. Here, countless minutes. You mean this city only exists because we opened the portal earlier? <laughs> really makes you think, eh? Yeah, like for example, how do we get out of here now that the portals are closed? I was thinking more of the moral implications. Well, what will happen to the people here if we restore the old timeline? Are we even allowed to do that? I can't see any signs. I noticed that too. You should get it looked at. Amazingly, there was still a bit of antidote left. Uh huh. You girls having a good talk? I'm just telling Goal about your stamp cannon. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have used so much cheese. The portals have closed. I have to try to open them again. Are you coming along? Can't it wait? I'm having a conversation right now. Of course. You can just sit here all day long talking to yourself. You do that all the time, too. <laughs> Actually, he's the one who talks all the time. I just listen. She's totally confused. I probably would be, too. She held up well. The portals have closed! I'm sure you'll think of something. I already thought of something. No, you are not going to get a jetpack. Aw, oh, man. Gold's hair may have lost its color, but it still smells like marshmallow candies. What's that doing here? I was going to use that for my last beat of the drum sculpture. I've been waiting for weeks for the battery to run out, but it just keeps going and going and going. What is this supposed to represent? That is the unfinished point. Oh, it's supposed to look unfinished. And here I thought it just wasn't finished. Oh, I'd better have another go at that then. Can I take that? Uh, no, it's not finished yet. I could finish it. And just how are you going to finish it? I can finish anything. You're going to finish me off one of these days. Are you finished yet? Yes. No. Oh, we'll just take it then. I will. On your marks, go. And finish. Okay, what just happened here? You've become a sculptor? <laughs> I had a lot of time on my hands. That excuses some things, but not everything. Don't you dare! Or do you have some kind of death wish that involves being ripped to shreds by a pack of few locks? Well, I thought nothing ventured, nothing gained. Don't think, soldier! It's war out here! And in war, there were only losers! 
<laughs> I think he takes the whole thing a bit too seriously. He could use a change of perspective. Hey there! Do not distract me! I've got to stay alert! Or do you have some kind of death wish that involves being ripped to shreds by a pack of Fulocs? You have a Fulock problem here? What does it look like to you, huh? Hysterical overreaction? Don't you think you're taking this thing a little too seriously? After all, the portals are closed, and no sign of any Fulocs. Just because you can't see any Fulocs doesn't mean they can't see you. What are those trash cans for? That's where we keep the seeds so they don't go bad. And so the wombats can't get at them. Those critters are getting worse by the day. Almost as bad as the fulons. I catch them meddling with the bins all the time. That's why I always keep my eyes on both sides. My wife says I've started to squint. <laughs> it's a good job it's so quiet on the fulock front. We're not equipped for a war on two fronts. I see all the prerequisites for an entrancing love story. I just think the female lead should be recast. We're out of Fulock soup. We've got toast and milk. And I'm also available on the cheap. My name's Rita. Are you single? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Uh, it's complicated. Don't waste my time. I'm almost 40 and I'm a waitress in the city with no future. Do you really think I'm interested in listening to you moaning on? Well, you asked. I just wanted to... Tick tock, tick tock. Do you hear that? That's my biological clock. Order something, propose to me, or move over for the next in line. Busy here. Anything free today? Yeah, a tip for your girlfriend. As long as she hasn't got a ring on her finger, she shouldn't let her man walk around the city on his own. No, I meant the food. Why didn't you say so? We're out of Fulock soup. We've got toast and milk. Any other questions? What was the offer again? Put a ring on my finger and I'll ignore that whole thing about your face. No, I meant the food. Why didn't you say so? We're out of Fulock soup. We've got toast and milk. Any other questions? One order of, uh, toast and milk, please. Got any money? Nope. Then your girlfriend must be blind. The portals are closed. Ah! Thought so. Classic case of last minute panic. Do you have a time machine? Do you think I'd look like this if I had one? Time machines have become quite rare. Maverick has an instant change, but he'd rather run over his grandfather than take someone else on board. And then there's Vince, but he can only offer deterministic time travel. Firstly, that's boring, and secondly, Vince smells of prunes. Otherwise, I only know of the old time pod in Rocco's garage. No idea if that still works. So, if you need passage, just forget it. We're all stranded here. The best thing you can do is get married as quickly as possible. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hmm, I hear that quite often. I really should unsubscribe from that dating platform. Mmm, peanuts. Tasty. What? You've eaten Mikey! What? But, oh no, I, I thought you were peanuts. Nah, uh, don't worry. Mikey was an ass anyway. And we are peanuts. Sapien peanuts from another time. Delicious and clever. What do you know? Can I maybe take you along anyway? The way things are going here, I'll probably have to make you into peanut butter. Mm, no. To be honest with you, we wouldn't like that. Name speak. Maybe he's got a good reason. A good reason to turn us into peanut butter? Oh, yeah. True. He hasn't given us one yet. Yeah. Why does he want to do that? On principle. Ha! On principle, he says. That's pathetic. Ugh! Wrong answer, matey! Well, then maybe. As travel provisions. Now you're really getting my coat. First Mikey, and now this. You greedy gunnet! What I meant was... For love. Wow! Now that's what I call a proper answer. Oh, we'd be happy to sacrifice ourselves for love. Yippee! Me first! About one more question. How exactly does it help love if we're made into peanut butter? Oh, yeah! I'd like to know that, too. 
Let him speak! I want to win back Goal's affection. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't know. Mm, I'm not convinced either. But, but this is Goal we're talking about. Yeah, but who's Goal? I mean, do we even know her? I certainly don't know her. Oh, true. So how do we know if you're a good match? Goal is also more of a long-term goal. Huh? Well, how do you mean? Oh, it's so cryptic. Love needs no further explanation. No explanation, no deal. No, sir. Find someone else to make into peanut butter. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. You're right, just forget I said anything. No probs, matey, no offense. Come back again once you thought of a valid reason, you pillock. That time traveler apparently comes from a completely different ethnic background. This is where my respect for foreign cultures and my diplomatic tact come into play. <coughs> ooga, ooga. Good day, sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. May I introduce myself? My name is Ang. Hello. You understand what I say? But of course, communication is one of the most important attributes for the profession in which I work. I'm a trader, and it would be a true conviviality to engage in business with you. I vend in medicinal herbs for a healthy intestinal flora in exchange for vintage art from the Neolithic period. I give stone. You give fart mush. I couldn't have put it better myself. Rufus, bring stone. Hmm, interesting. The material used to create this sculptural opus magnum is clearly basalt from the Germian fatstone mountains. I can make out deposits of obsidian and even inclusions of chrysoberyl. My respect for the fine arts unfortunately forbids me from exploiting this aesthetic ornament purely for the purposes of my base commercial ambitions. That would be barbarity. It's obvious that he doesn't have a clue about the future. Otherwise, he would definitely wear something else. Yoo-hoo! I have a question. Keep it thwart, I've got work to do. We're about to make the breakthrough into the future. I can already smell it. Sorry, it's the excitement. What exactly are you doing here? We suspect there may be a so-called future in sediment beneath the city. That's why we started to hollow out its foundation. Aren't you worried that that could make the city somehow, I don't know, slide maybe? The chance is always offset the risks. The unimaginative rednecks up there have no idea what a rough diamond they have right under their feet. They see no further than the base that guarantees their apartment stay standing. I see three cafes, Martin, office spaces, and affordable lofts for fashionable high-income earners. Such as architects working for the portal building authorities, for example? Exactly. Any progress? How could there possibly be any when I keep getting interrupted by such trivialities? Well, I thought progress couldn't be stopped. Na -na 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 -na. I still don't understand exactly what that hole there is supposed to have to do with the future. But it's so very simple. We want to attract a solvent clientele. Time travelers who are literally not born yesterday. A portal to the future who would put a paradox city back on the map. The saying goes, continuous growth through development in interwim time. And we're creating the attractions for that. Ugh, you spit when you talk. I have to get to Kuvak, one day before the end of time. Wait, Kuvak, Kuvak, hmm, unlucky and unlucky. We 
do have a portal to Kubak, but that's on the old Hermit's land. So it's not connected to the time travel superhighway. We've been fighting for that right of way for ages. That isn't the problem. The problem is that the portals have closed back up again. No, 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 it's not a problem, it's an opportunity. It's proof once more of how important the connection between Paradox City and the future is. I can already see the campaign. The only way back leads forwards. Or better still, back through the future. But that's all just drivel. The reason for the lack of a future lies in the past. What a hogwash. Today with yesterday, the future belongs to those who have the courage to look forward. Oh, you have no idea. I'll let you get on with your work. Finally! I was afraid I'd miss out on the future all because of you. It's true what they say. You can't make an egg without breaking an omelet. <laughs> what are you reading? Hey, this is the future issue of Hats. <laughs> what else? And uh, are helmets making a comeback? Oh, sadly not. In the future, all manual work will be performed by machines. That would be great. Then no one would have to work. Why do you think I work so hard? Certainly not for the money. This job is so badly paid that I need a second one to make ends meet. And what's your second job? I write fake reviews for an ad finance rating portal that compares free comparison sites for buying building machinery. Huh. If only we finally had machines that could relieve us of all these important tasks. That's, uh, the hats, right? I already told you it is. Can I, can I have it? No, I need it for research purposes. In this highly technological working environment, further education is an integral part of everyday work and life. Uh, you could take a break. Ah, oh, my lunch break is well overdue. Unfortunately, I can't leave the machine on its own. Yes, it seems to me that your presence is downright imperative. I tell you what, you can have the magazine if you bring me a peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter sandwich, huh? No problem. The world isn't ready for this art yet, but I'm sure they'll appreciate it in the future. It is finished, sort of. Rufus, bring stone. Hmm, interesting. Basalt from the Germian Fatstone Mountains. I can make out deposits of obsidian, and even inclusions of chrysoberyl. I have at least two clients who would pay a great deal of money for such a rock. I give stone. You give fart mush. Quite right. Quid pro quo. Rufus, thanks, Ung, for Fartmash. Well spoken, my eloquent friend. It was also a great pleasure for me doing business with you. What a wuss. Boo! Ah! Oh no, the Fulux soup. I'm gonna get fired for sure. My whole future depends on this job. I thought there was no future here. There is for me. My future self is sitting over there in the corner. He says that if I don't try a lot harder, I'll never be as successful as, well, me. He said I've got to save, work hard and sign up to a pension plan. Otherwise, I'll never drive a sleek instant change five. And then, well, it would all be for nothing. Why don't you just make a new suit? Uh, I can't. We've run out of few lock ribs. Oh, man, what a disaster.
My future is ru- No, it's taking up a lot of space in the seating area. His soup! He'll get me fired! It's all so unfair! I should be the one complaining about waiters and having people fired. But if I don't get my hands on some new Fulock ribs soon, I'll never be as rich as... me. What a wuss. He shouldn't be time-traveling anymore at his age. Nonsense, my boy. True, the cataracts hinder three-dimensional sight, but we travel in four dimensions. Do you own one of the time machines out there? But of course, my young friend. I call it the V-Tardis. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? Because they have no idea. The V-Tardis is a jewel in the crown of time travel technology. <laughs> he said you. Mr. Vincent is neglecting to tell you that his antediluvian vehicle cannot undertake genuine time travel, only deterministic time travel. You can't change the past with it. You're stuck there until you've recreated the condition of the timeline at the point of departure. Huh? Don't listen to them. A trip in the retardus is always worth it. If you like, I can take you on a little spin. All I need is a portal map with precise space-time coordinates on it. Just ask the lads at the portal building authorities. What a slime ball. Is that your ride out there? Why? Have I blocked you in? No, don't worry. <laughs> Shame. So why are you asking? Well, you left the lights on. If you give me the key, then... Huh. Nice try. Not only does the Instant Change Coupe make time travel possible without that bothersome time branching, it also has the automatically adjusting headlights since the 5 Series. That's a nice device. No two ways about it. <sighs> Every time traveler's dream. For a long time, I thought I'd never be able to afford more than the 2 Series, the so-called butter churn. But I was ambitious. I wanted the 5 Series more than anything else. I've slogged and slaved. Shed blood, sweat, and tears. Scrimped and saved again. And now, now that I've got there, the only thing that still gives me any joy is pushing around other people who don't slave away as hard as I did back then. For example, my former self, that lazy slacker. He should have served me a bowl of delicious Fulox soup ages ago. But do you see any delicious Fulox soup around here, huh? I don't. If he doesn't start moving my ass soon, I could be to a real ass chewing. Who's taking so long? Uh, occupied. You plan on being done in the crapper anytime soon? Don't rush me. I suffer from severe temporal constipation. Temporal constipation? Not perhaps temporal diarrhea? No. I'm over that, but how the crap? <sighs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, huh? I recognized your voice. You're the time crapper. <laughs> the temporal toilet tourist, who apparently has made it his mission to clog every toilet in the entire multiverse. Uh, oh, uh, end times person? Uh, is that you? But I've only just met you. Uh, you gave me this wonderful toilet paper. The money from Cletus's suitcase. I remember. But that was my other adventure, a version of the future which no longer exists, as if a huge plug were clogging everything up. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, everything was flowing just fine. Oh, now it's come to a standstill. Exactly, but I'll get things back up and running. Oh! That would be great. That time traveler, uh, this is where my respect. Okay. Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. 
Can you repair the portals? Worrying, isn't it? But there's nothing that can be done about it. Portals have neither a motor nor any other mechanical components. Oh, then it's all up to me again. Are there any goats in Paradox City? Not that I know of, and I'm sure you'll find something better to sweeten the time until the portals open up again, you rotter. Huh? I have to get to the time pod. No can do. It's a bit of a family heirloom. Nonsense. It belongs to the old gold. Belonged to. She left it to my father. But that's... You won't be able to argue with my granddaughter, Rufus. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I'm a mysterious voice from your memory. What? Since when? Don't you like it? Sure, it's pretty cool. Who are you talking to? Quiet back there! Got a tip on how to get past him? Not really. He was the most stubborn human being that I have ever known. That's not a lot of help. You are right. Sorry. Slightly silly. Farewell. Oh, you all right? Huh? Why? Oh, nothing. What was your question again? I urgently need to get to the time pod. And I said, no. It's a bit of a family heirloom, and family comes first. Mysterious Memory McChronicle! What? So, you got an idea yet? I, I thought you had one. But I haven't! Then what are you doing here? You are right. Sorry! <sighs> Always nice to hear from him. You're behaving very strangely. Ah, oh, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. have a serious fuel lock problem here, but it's still too early for any conjectures about guilt. Oh no, fuel lock alarm. Oh, again? Ugh, that means we'll have to take another compulsory break. No, it doesn't mean that. One can't keep the future waiting. Why? Has he got somewhere to go? I can't see anything. Don't you dare! Or do you have some kind of death wish that involves being ripped to shreds by a pack of fuel locks? I can't see anything. I created them from a rib, and now I need the rib back. Strange. I can't see anything. Where are you, you little beasts? Give me something to shoot at. Strange. I can't see anything. You, you little beasts!
Ta-da! Fulock ribs! Now, where did you get them? Where do you think? I ripped them off a of Fulock. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. But if it's not asking too much, could you take the suit to my future self? Sure, why not? But careful! I think he's looking for a reason to get me fired. Waiter, there's a hair in my Fulock soup. Then be glad you didn't order the Fukaka soup. Fulock soup, finally. I was about to get my former self fired. What? Wait a minute. What the hell is this? There's a hair in my soup. I want to see the manager in me. <laughs> What? How did you get here so quickly? Oh, you're obviously experiencing a side effect of my new Instant Change 2. It uses a time travel technique that doesn't create any new timelines. All changes become immediately visible. Didn't you just want to save up for Series 5? Yes, but then my future self came along, completely broke. So, I bought the two series off him. It's quite practical. As long as you don't take pregnant women on board. And now that I don't need to save anymore, well, I quit immediately. My future self was probably more in need of a job anyway. And what are you going to live on? I'll break into my pension plan, and then, well, <laughs> we'll see. The future suddenly looks bright again. So, that's your instant change too out there? Yes. Why? Well, you left the lights on. Ugh, really? It's probably a problem with the electrics again. Damn butter churn. Ah, why oh why didn't I save up for the 5 Series? Nobody knows. Uh, here, could you turn it off for me? Sure, happy to help. Here, this is sure to help. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Thank you. Now I can finally continue on my journey to a galaxy far, far away. Take care, end times person. All of a sudden, the expression dirty money has a whole new meaning. One order of uh, toast and milk, please. On its way. Here, the rest is a tip. Oh, I hate this job. Okay, ale dalej pójdziemy już w następnym odcinku. Dziękuję wam za oglądanie. Są szarzy dwa. To była Deponia Doomsday. Zapraszam do następnego odcinka. Trzymajcie się.